A while ago, a subscriber came to me and asked if I could replicate his car. Well, his is not exactly the same as the kit, so it needed a couple of modifications. And I was kind of into it and also kind of not. And I decided to just do it, step outside my comfort zone, and try to modify some of these bumpers myself to make it look like his car. Now, I'm not going to replicate it exactly one-to-one, -one, as some of these details are far out of my reach. And I'm just not even going to bother with it. I'm just going to make it look like it and not exactly replicate it, and that is discussed with the customer. So let's just jump into the box quickly, show a bit of the details, and then move on to a more detailed view of some of these parts. So as usual with these Fujimi kits, the body looks pretty good and the rest of the details on the inside and chassis are not really that great. The dashboard is pretty nice, has a lot of the details for the vents, the radio and some other climate control stuff in there and the general shape seems to be right as well. Same goes for some of the exhaust parts and other chassis pieces including the lip for the rear bumper and also the main front bumper itself. Now these two parts will be heavily modified as the car I'm trying to replicate doesn't really look like this one, but that will be shown in the first build series episode. Like I said, the interior isn't really all that great. The seats, steering wheel and stuff like that look pretty good, but the main interior tub is really lacking a lot of detail. It pretty much only has a rear seat and the center console, then maybe some door car detail, but nothing to really be specifically called out for as it's pretty basic. So on the one hand you have a not really detailed interior tub and on the other you have a pretty nicely detailed chassis. Now it's mostly molded in one piece apart from some of the suspension components and the rear part of the exhaust. Though even though it's one part most of the details are there so with a bit of paint and imagination this can look pretty good. All of the remaining stuff for the chassis, like some of the springs and suspension components, are molded on a separate sprue. Again, nothing really special, but at least some of the details are there. Aside from all of the interior and chassis parts, there of course is also a sprue with the clear parts. The main clear part for all the windows is molded in one piece, has some nice edges all around it in order for you to mask it off and paint it black, and it also has a couple of molding mistakes and marks in there, here and there, though no real big deal as I'm probably going to tint the rear windows. The lenses for the rear and front lights are also nicely detailed with a lot of captured lines and stuff in there as well. These will be modified a tad too. Of course you also get a small decal sheet with some of the emblems and also the gauges. Really nicely captured detail with two color gauges and also the red Honda logos as well of course. The wheels and tires of course also come with this kit though they are not really that great. The wheels seem a bit small and the tires a bit too big though the thread pattern detail on there is really nice. I'm probably not going to be using any of these parts. The final piece in the kit is of course the body. It's molded in a nice white plastic. The side skirts are molded on. The front bumper is not, but the intercooler radiator is. Not really that detailed, but with the front bumper on, it is a bit of detail and can't be too bad either. The rear bumper is halfway molded, has a really nice big fat mold line on it that still needs to be removed. Some of the panel lines need to be scribed out a bit more, 
but overall it's nicely done. A couple of these parts will be modified to fit the new styling and then I can pretty much move on to painting it. So the overall verdict on the kit, it's not really that great, though it's not really that expensive in most markets either. So if you're just looking to replicate a car of one of these Integras, then it's pretty good. But if you're looking for a nicely detailed out build, this is probably not for you. Unless you're a big into scratch building, then this is the perfect base to work from.